Well, there was nothing deliberate about that, but every time there's anything happens, Otka, as he does all through his career, looks at the referee. Otka keeps carrying on like he's the victim in this fight, and he's just so wrong. I mean, he's looking to the referee for sympathy at any given point. The crowd now once again trying to get behind their man, known as the Phantom. Lost to a, a Canadian in the quarterfinals of the Seoul Olympics and lost in 92 and 96 to the great Cuban in the middleweight division, Ariel Hernandez. Better by Reid, that uppercut which uh, one or two people at ringside have been looking from the throat. Almost landed, there was a clash of heads there after Otka got in with a good right, probably his best shot of the contest so far. Robin Reaches start doubling up the jab because when Ock goes back he misses the first one but then his chin's up in the air waiting for the return. He should double the jab and then going behind the right hand. He should have some success with that combination. Reed does not want to let Otka start to take the initiative here. Ott started this round Break. a lot more briskly. Break. Break. And he's looking a little bit more purposeful Break. in this round. Better by Reed, nothing wrong with that. And look at Otka, into the clinch, and he looks at the referee as if to say, I'm doing nothing wrong, do something about this man. Well, like I said, Otka tries to come across as the victim, but, you know, a victim's excuse is just that. He uses that as an excuse to allevi alleviate himself from the responsibility of his own actions that he's taking. Every time he misses with a shot or there's any kind of an infringement, he looks to the referee. Reid now looking for a gap, he's carrying that right hand of his pretty high, he's obviously publishing his intent, good stuff by Reid, lovely hook and Otka grins over that battered face of his and he knows that he got caught. Good head, good head. Good now Ock's talking to the referee oh. saying about heads but that wasn't deliberate, Robin Reid's not trying deliberately to do anything except win this fight. It's the best shot of the contest, that left hand by Robin Reid and Otka knew it and Otka felt it. You start pumping the jab, getting busy with the jab, pick up the points, stick yeah. it out as a nuisance value even if it's not landing, just place it on in thin air if need be, just to show the judges Break. that he's being busy. Stop! Break! Stop it! Okay? Stop. I don't know what Robin Reed has to do to please Stop. this referee. Pushing, eh? Every Stop. time there's any contact at all, now this is really disheartening Robin Reed, and it's going to be a measure of just as a good as concentration is at that time it was Otka who went in with the head and there wasn't a word from the referee this is the worst piece of officiating joke I've seen for a long time uh, you and me both Jim you've called it absolutely right the referee now is going to all read again oh well my goodness he said to Otka dear Sven be a pet and don't use that head of yours I've been inclined to give the round to read yet again well this has been a good uh, contest by Robin Reid. Mom at ringside having a good look. It's starting to liven up a little bit. A little bit of swelling on the face of uh, Sven Otka and they're going to work on that straight away. Robin Reid is certainly in control of this contest. I'm not sure that the referee is in control of a joke. No, the referee's not in control of this contest. I think he's tending to, well he, we can see he's going for the, the hometown boy. You know, we need a much firmer, much stiffer ref referee, you know, an unbiased referee. Yeah, but that's okay. exactly what we're witnessing now. And even at this stage, just out of vision, I'm looking up at the ringside and the referee, Roger Tillman from Belgium, is actually looking over at Reeves' corner and tapping his forehead as if to say to Reeves' corner, tell your man to watch his head. He's giving Reed no chance whatsoever here in Nuremberg. Steve James in Reed's corner just uh, took the three steps down and not too far from us at ringside said disgraceful and I don't think he was talking about Robin Reed's performance which has been pretty good so far from where I'm sitting. Well I've got oh, four rounds down now going into this next round. Oh my goodness he said you know even though he tells Otka off he then has to tell Reed off just to make it right there's Otka going in with the head again. Otka realises that he's behind and he's trying to force the fight. Referee, that's come off it. That's, the, that's disgraceful. What the, what the referee's actually done there was a disgrace. There was nothing wrong with that right hand whatsoever and he's warned Reed for it for slapping. 
Well, Reid has got to keep his composure. He's got to try to forget about this. Well, incompetent official in the middle. I know there are one or two little things, but it is professional boxing. There are two world titles on the line. And every time Reid does something, well, he's been made to feel as if he's a criminal. OK, Ocker's coming forward and he's, and he's forcing the fight, but he's not landing anything. He's not landing anything of really real significance. Now the referee should warn him for hitting him behind the head. Well, I think he had to think about that. Let's try to concentrate on the boxing. Good uh, right hand into the ribs by Otka and Reed countered nicely. Reed just has to pick up the pace a little bit. Remember, you've got to take the title away from the champion. Absolutely. But, you know, Reed is boxing a, a good fight right now. He is winning the rounds. And now he really can start to take, you know, some chances and, you know, cement this victory if he can get it. Good right hand. Just missed it. Faster hands by Otka. Reed has got to be very positive and make sure there's no doubt whatsoever. Otka has got the benefit of some pretty iffy decisions, a lot of majority decisions, split decisions, and he's come through. Good solid left hand from Robin Reed as the double world champion Sven Otka came in. And again they clinch, a minute to go to the end of the fifth. The crowd now starting to get behind their man, maybe they can see that he's, he's not really at the race, he's not really in this fight. So he wears that sort of wily old smile. He knows that combination, Mr. Mal. Reed has the quicker hands, almost shipped a, a right there. Good job by Otka. Reed into the rims yet again. Watch this. Is he going to take put? No, he's not. I'm really afraid for Robin Reed to make any contact, Duke, because this referee is looking to uh, score him out of it. Better round this one. I do have a feeling for Otka, though. Yeah, it's a better round, but you know, I wouldn't be inclined to say Otka's winning the round. I'd give it more of an even round. Good covering up by uh, Otka. Reed needs to come forward and double up those shots. Good footwork by Reed. Moved nicely away to his left. And again by Reed. Good finish to the round by the challenger. Reed's boxing a, an excellent fight. Still seven no, rounds remaining. Now come on, you want to win this No, I'm serious. Open, open the mouth. How come? You were three rounds behind, believe me. I'll listen to you, Robin. You can hear this, Did I hear right? Did Brian use that Robin Reedy was three rounds behind? Maybe it's a psychological ploy. It has to be. It has to be a psychological ploy because I can't believe for one minute that Robin Reedy has lost a single round. Southpaw, maybe. Yeah. Are yeah. you waiting? Stop chucking your head in, Rob. That's how he's warning you. You've got to throw it. When he comes in, if you're going to throw that big right hand, throw it over the top of him. You're three rounds behind now, you've got a full by a knockout, I'm telling you. Hands up high now, and just walk in. That's a very interesting tactic by Brian Hughes. Duke McKenzie has got Robin Reed winning by uh, four rounds at the moment, with one round shared. Four to Reed and uh, a draw, a level round. So round six is to take a...